Hey guys, what's up? It's Savannah. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we are back doing another like weekend vlog style video. You guys seem to really like the last one, which was very shocking to me. But also, I'm really happy because I really liked filming it and it was a fun time. So, we're back doing it again this weekend. This is not a good look. My eyes hurt. 8.50 in the morning. I have a hair appointment in 10 minutes. I thought that that would be the perfect way to kind of like start this all off. I am so pale. It's just, it's not, I'm unwell. I am filming a how to get tan or like a tanning routine video either today or tomorrow. I won't be pale for too much longer. I am gonna go blonder with my hair and just kind of like, I don't know, I feel like it's super brassy and it needs a trim. It just needs a trim. I'm never one to say that, but we've reached a point where it needs a trim. I'm excited to get this back to where it needs to be. Sorry, I know the gum really bothers some of you. It bothers me too when I go back and look at it. But for the rest of the weekend, I'm not really sure what the plan is or what we're doing. But I'm going to take you along for all of it. I do know I need to go to Target. I need to go to Home Goods. But with that being said, I'm going to go and get my hair done. And because I can't stand looking at it like this anymore. I did a moisture mask last night. I left it on way longer than the time period that it said to leave it on. It said to leave it on for like 5 to 10 minutes. I think I left it on for like 2 hours. And now my hair is like all messed up. There's that as well. <laughs> with that being said though, I'll catch you on the flip side. Ready? Are you ready for a transformation? Three, two, one. Y'all, she's back and blonde and thriving. Looks so much better than what it did. Oh my God. I did have her take a little bit off the ends. I'm gonna go home and like do my makeup and put on a cute outfit so we can really get this day popping. As of right now, it is currently 11.45. So I got here at nine. So it took about two hours, almost three hours. So I just went to Whole Foods yesterday and I, I need to start eating more fruits and vegetables. Like I'm vegan now, <laughs> it needs to happen. So I went and got this green superfood this this thing basically it says it has one full serving of greens and veggies is what it's equivalent to so i'll take it so i just got it out so it looks like that and you're just supposed to put it in water which also my doctor said i need to be drinking more water so it's a win-win all the way around something is happening you can't see it because the glass is like not showing you do i should i just wait does it say okay this is what it looks like that's not that bad actually. I can do that, that I can do. So recently I looked at like the amount of time on average that I spend on my phone and it is disgusting. Are you guys ready to hear this? The average time that I spend on my phone is seven and a half hours, seven and a half hours. Why am I spending seven and a half hours on my phone? And then I thought about it and it's like, okay, I listen to music a lot on my phone when I drive. I'm always watching YouTube videos on my phone because when I work out, I just put the YouTube video like on the treadmill. That's all for my phone. I watch a lot of Netflix on my phone. But seven and a half hours, that's insanity. It's insanity. All right, you guys, so this is what the hair looks like with a little makeup on. <coughs> Sometimes I get comments about people asking like what I tell my hairdresser to do. I've been going to my hair girl for years at this point. So she just kind of like knows what I want. Like every time I go in, she's just like bring it up again, lighten it up. And I'm like, yeah, and then she just kind of does it. Um, I do know that she puts some foils in, <laughs> some not. She brings the color all the way up again, waves it. Oh, she is ready for spring and summer. We are ready. Okay, so I'm about to go to Dane's house, and I'm just going to pack a little bag because I don't exactly know what we're doing. Like, I don't... I look not very good right now. Are we surprised that I'm not the best vlogger in the world? Again, no. No one is surprised. So last night, nothing really eventful happened. Me and Dane just hung out at his place, and I just forgot to vlog. Honest to God truth. So I am filming a tanning tutorial, like how to self tan, self tanning tips. I'm gonna film that video like now. I'm just gonna charge my camera a little bit. I tried to look up how other people film their tanning tutorials and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to film the part where I tan myself. I'm gonna film like the actual tanning tutorial part first, like the part where I actually tan myself and then I'm going to film like the intro and like everything else while having like makeup on. And things like that. I think that makes the most sense. Okay, so I'm not tan yet because I am waiting to film that section of the video. There are people that are working on the part of the house that I need to film the video in because it has like natural lighting and it just lo will look a lot better if I wait to film it in there. So I'm working on Killer Instinct right now. I am going through, I guess by the time you guys see this, it may or may not have already been out just depending on when I upload this. This week we are doing the case of Brian Schaefer and I have a long list of cases that I am meaning to do. One of them, I want to tell you guys about it because I 
keep seeing this comment over and over again well two first is gabriel fernandez um i am meaning to finish that documentary um and so then i'm going to work on that case and then the other one is evelyn evelyn boswell from tennessee that case that happened a lot of you guys want me to cover that as well i'm kind of waiting on that one just because i think we're now getting to the point where more information is getting released so that is good which is why i wanted to wait so that way we could get as much information as possible into the case rarely do i sit in my pajamas in bed doing these cases but because it's a weekend and i was like wearing what i was gonna wear to do the spray tan in I'm allowing it so i want to show you guys actually a really cool feature that i don't know if you guys have heard of if your laptop and you want to like write something but you don't want to actually type it for me i have long nails so sometimes it gets hard to actually type everything so just press the fn button on your computer twice and that thing will pop up and it'll start typing what you are saying so it really does help a lot and when i do these cases sometimes this is how i will type out my notes because then i'll just say it in the way that i'm going to say it when i record it and it makes things a lot easier look how cool this is so i just finished doing the research for this week's case and i'm going to be filming this tomorrow so i just filmed the tanning video um in the tan it is not anywhere near fully developed but it looks so good i was using glow pro tans you guys will see this video coming up very very soon and if you're wondering what this is i've been having a little bit of fun because revlon sent me their new uh lustrous luscious mats collection so if this doesn't make me an official beauty guru i don't know what does this is what the colors look like and i swatched just a couple of them i think i swatched more so like this area the formula is like really nice and creamy it went on really smooth so i'm a fan do you mind Also, look at the bag that the lipsticks came in. I think this is such a cute little travel bag. I love that. Fun little PR part of the day. Are any of you guys a procrastinator? Because like I know what I need to do right now is do my makeup and finish filming that video. But all I want to do is watch Grey's Anatomy. But I know I can watch Grey's Anatomy while doing my makeup. So I don't know why it's like, oh, you know what I do need to do though? I need to drink water. It is 5.30. I've not had any water today. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Like, it's so bad. I also should take one of my women's daily vitamins. We're going to put electrolytes in my water. This is just the electrolytes that, like, my family buys. I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to put... I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs. I have three dogs, two Goldens and a Labradoodle. The one y'all always see in, like, my Instagram is Buddha. He's the golden retriever, one of them because I'm kind of biased and a little obsessed with him. I have another gold retriever though, and his name is Weeble. If you remember like what seems like such a long time ago, they had those Weeble Wobble things. It's like the Weebles Wobbles, but they don't fall down. And the reason, we didn't name him that by the way. If you ask my mom, she would say we rescued Weeble. We got Weeble from a breeder. But the reason we got Weeble is because we had a dog prior to Weeble from the same breeder. And that dog ended up actually passing away on an airplane when we moved out to California. All of us just loved and adored Rocket. So when Rocket passed, it was really, really hard on my family. So we couldn't just have one dog to make up for Rocket or one golden retriever to make up for Rocket. We needed two. So we got Weeble, who was from the same breeder. But Weeble has a neurological disorder. And I'm not entirely sure what that is like i know what a neurological disorder is i don't i just don't know what weeble's neurological disorder is but what i do know is that whatever he has causes his back legs to move at the same time like you know how some dogs like they'll gallop so it'll be like one two three four with weeble it's like he hops like a bunny um which is actually really cute but he also has like his back leg kind of drags when he walks so that's like what that noise is it's weeble's leg dragging on the floor this is weeble this is buddha oh there we go be nice to your brother <laughs> okay weeble and that's dash hello you guys so i look like i'm about to go skiing <laughs> It is Sunday and it is a busy, busy day today and it's annoying because it's daylight savings time and we lost an hour today. I'm not really happy about it. I really look like I'm about to go ski. We curled the hair today and I actually really like the way it turned out. I think it looks really good. I feel like I look like an adult and it's like kind of freaking me out. Okay, let's go take an Instagram picture. I'll show you guys the setup that I'm going to be using. Okay, so right here is where I was going to take the picture, like right here because you have like the direct sunlight and usually at this time like it works because the sun is like hitting into this room at this point but i think because it's daylight savings it's not doing that also high view definitely just trying to get a picture of like 
waist up, if that makes sense. Let's see. Okay, so I was able to go through and get some. I do think the lighting will be better more towards like golden hour times, which is kind of annoying because I'm impatient and I don't want to wait. But we have a lot to do in the spare time. So right now we're going to go film Killer Instinct so we can cross that off the list. And then we got to film the second part of that tanning video because that needs to happen today. Killer Instinct, let's do it. Okay, so I just finished filming Killer Instinct. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I can get it done in just like a couple takes. Like sometimes I really struggle my way through it and today was a struggling day. I was just like, I like kept having to repeat myself, kept having to start over. Little setup we've got going on over here. That's always my big stressor of the week is getting out Killer Instinct. So now that I'm done with that, I definitely feel less stressed and a little more relieved but we still do have to film that tanning video today so we're gonna do that next i kind of want to snack i kind of want to eat something but i'm kind of just like i'm already in this mood like let's just get it done like let's go there's a lot going on today you guys and i wanted to work out today but that is just probably not gonna happen i'll just start that up again tomorrow i think i'm just gonna film the tanning video now and then we'll deal with all the extra stuff that we have to do afterwards that sounds about right all right okay so we just filmed the self tanning video it actually didn't take as long as i thought it was it was weird. I felt like it was very like tutorialish, like teacher. Like I was like, okay, like here we go. So this is what you're gonna do here. This is what you're gonna do here. But sometimes that makes for a good video. And I think because I was struggling so much with my killer instinct video today, and like actually getting my point across with that, like like having a video where it was like so easy and just like easy to talk about was like I was like, oh okay. And then it was done like that. So. I just got that done, so it is currently 4.24. So I usually like to post on Instagram about like 6.30, 7 ish I do still have a little bit of time before it's like I have to get a picture, but like it's, it's definitely closing in on me. I also really love this top. This is what it looks like, it's from Zara. Very cute. So I decided to switch it up. So instead of the black turtleneck, I'm just gonna wear this white sweater. I feel like it's more like spring and summer-ish. So we're gonna go take this picture. Hi guys. So we got the Instagram picture. I'm gonna show it to you. Well, we went with two, two different pictures. I had to incorporate the wine into this one. I kind of liked this one better, but I felt like it was too posy, like, and not as candid. And this one looked a lot more candid, which is why I chose this one first. Oh, okay, we'll just. So if you are watching this, go comment on this picture. What emoji are we feeling? What are some of the emojis? What are we thinking? Something fun. That's a selfie stick, right? Yeah. Or it's like someone holding and like vlogging. Let's do the lab coat. That's not a lab coat. This is the lab coat up there. That, nope, not the lab coat. Oh my God. There we go. That is the lab coat. So go and comment the lab coat when you see this video. I have poured myself some wine to end off the night and I'm gonna do my skincare in a second because actually we can do this while I'm sitting here right now. I can just start by taking my makeup off. So I typically like to work on the weekends and that's really like unfortunate for people who I surround myself with. Typically people don't have work or they're off on the weekends, but I don't know what it is. Like I work better on the weekends. I don't know if it's because I feel like way more productive because everyone's just like not really working as much. People don't have school or things like that. Like I don't know what it is about it, but like not really doing anything on the weekends. That's why today like I got a lot of like work done tomorrow's agenda is to send off the tanning video i also want to film an amazon favorites video hopefully i can get all the things that i need to get done done like within the earlier hours of the day that would be nice gotta wash the hands they say that you're supposed to sing happy birthday twice they say you're supposed to do it with hot water so i start out with hot water and then i move to cold because i feel like it's more refreshing I forgot to take my mascara off. Who am I? I had ice cream tonight and I got chocolate on my shirt. Then I'm taking this, that firming serum, this guy right here, and I'm just putting that on my face and down my neck. Then I'm gonna put my hair up, up for this part. I'm just taking this, which is that Argan Smooth Skin Resurfacing Serum. It's like my secret weapon. I don't know what this like discoloration is right here. And then taking this roller it's almost become like almost like you know stress balls and things like that like when you're stressed or like jewels like this is my jewel like i don't jewel i don't vape or whatever whatever you crazy kids are doing these days like i don't do that but this is like my thing i've been doing this like every single night i didn't do it last night and honestly i woke up this morning and i felt like my face was swollen and then this is the one that i posted about though but some people ask if it's a razor. It's not a razor. It's just like you, it's like a lifter. Both of these are designed to like help sculpt and lift your face basically. I don't know if it's just like, this could be total BS. Like, I don't know. And Plankton is on the TV. My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna just see you guys in the morning. Sweet dreams. Good morning, you guys. My room is such a mess. I don't understand because I just 
like decluttered and organized just a couple days ago and I feel like I need to do it all over again. Today we need to run errands. We need to go to Ulta. I do need to go to CVS too, but should I just get everything that I need at Ulta? Does that make sense? Because like they're gonna have razors and all that shit there too. So maybe I just wait and go to Ulta instead. There she is. Proof that I leave my house. Went to Ulta, got a decent amount of stuff at Ulta. So we're gonna go through that when I get home. I just went to this like healthy restaurant that's like right by my house and got some avocado toast for me and my mom. So what time is it? Like 1.40, I haven't eaten today. And you know when you don't eat and you're just like not in the mood anymore and you're just tired and exhausted. My hair is also very dry. So I did get some stuff to put in it, thank God, because every time I touch it, I'm like, I literally feel how dry it is and it's kind of driving me crazy. Also, I lost a nail last night and i got them done like a week ago it's so crazy this is my bag from ulta we'll just start from the top i got this uh just an eyelash curler i don't have an eyelash curler i feel like this is one of those things where like i feel like i have five of them i know i've bought so many but i can't find one anywhere so i had to get a new one then i also got just a couple razors i'm just not the best about like always making sure that i have razors like on deck like i need razors on deck so i got those ones and i also got the pink ones as well they're just like the disposable not disposable but like oh yeah they are disposable okay just getting through that i got this which is just the lash sensational mascara i got the waterproof one because we're getting into more of like spring and summer and i have the non-waterproof one but it, not that it runs easily but i just want to make sure that like my mascara is not going anywhere and i love 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 this mascara so got that then i got this argan oil from the brand ogx i think that's how it's that was called ogx that's the brand they sell it at like all the drugstores the argan oil why is my phone buzzing did i get an email I got an email. Then I stocked up on some more makeup wipes. Two packs of them, and there's two in each of them, so there's four packs. Got another bottle of the Morphe setting spray. I always run out of this stuff, and I never have one like to back myself up, so I got this one just so I would have it. That way, when I run out of the one I'm using now, I already have one, so it's great. And then I got this Sterling Silver Mask, and I'm always looking for hair masks that will enhance the blonde and take away the brassiness of my highlighted hair. Right now, it's not looking as brassy, which is really nice, but I've only washed it once since I've recently got it done, and so I wanted to try this one out. Then I got the Lip Injection Extreme. I have not used used this i used to use their old injection not the extreme one but i want to try out the extreme one i've watched a lot of tiktoks about this then i just stocked up again on my professional primer i ran out of this for like the millionth time so i needed a new one i don't know how to pronounce that is it way but it's just this leave-in conditioner that i'm actually gonna try right now hi guys so i haven't talked to you in a couple days it's currently saturday i don't know when the last time i vlogged was i just wanted to kind of catch up say hi i am about to film an amazon favorites video i wanted to talk to y'all because this is a really really weird time and the reason i kind of stopped vlogging for a couple days is to just kind of absorb all of the chaos that is happening everywhere it's literally everywhere it, nothing feels right right now i have not left my house and i'm on day three of not leaving my house which is not hard for me let's just let's point that out this is not very this is not hard for me to do but it definitely is really scary i just want all of y'all to be very safe very cautious wash your hands i hope you guys all have the essentials and necessities that you need i but i also want to say to not buy into the panic i want to point that out because i know how easy it is when the whole world feels like it's literally falling apart to buy into that and to buy into the fear of everything is ending and the world is ending because when you look on the news right now when you look on twitter when you look on everywhere it literally feels like the world is ending grocery stores getting cleared out walmart target cvs everywhere is getting cleared out and it's scary i was talking to my parents and they said they've never had to live through anything like this before i know some people have differing opinions on this some people say why would you tell people not to buy into the panic because this is such a serious thing there's people dying the world is falling apart like all of these things and then and then you have the other side that are saying like this isn't as bad as people are making it out to be and it's really hard to figure out where you fall on that spectrum you should put your health first always but especially when something like this is happening it's very important to always always put your health first i know some people don't have the leisure and privilege to not go to work and to stay home and self-quarantine and for those people especially it's really really important i'm probably a broken record y'all have heard this in the news so many times wash your hands be safe i want you guys to be safe which is why i'm going to try to get this video out tomorrow it was going to come out next 
next week, but I think I'm gonna try to get it out tomorrow. That way you guys have something to watch. If you are at home and you're bored, if you are living alone, I really hope you don't feel lonely. Take this as a time to call people you wouldn't normally talk to. You know, call your family, call your friends, FaceTime them, text them. Won't last forever, but for the time being, it's really important to just be precautious. I love you, and for anyone out there who's struggling through this, I love you and you will get through it. It really puts things into perspective, I feel like, when something like this happens. It really makes you think, like, I don't know what's going on with 2020. I really, really don't. <laughs> this was not, this was not how this was supposed to go. Just tell the people that you care about that you care about them. You should do that anyways, but I feel like in times like this, when the world literally feels like when everything is so chaotic and panic is at an all-time high, just be safe, be healthy. It's all that matters right now. But yeah, so I'm about to film an Amazon favorites video. I also got two pairs of Nike shoes. I know, this, this, this is why I can't be locked in the house because I just get stuck online shopping and it's not good. But I just got two new pairs of Nike shoes and a new little bag that I will show you. So, so I have like two bags, right? I have a black Rebecca Minkoff bag and then a black little crossbody bag. I don't even know where I got it. I think maybe Zara like four years ago. Those are like my two bags that I rotate through. And I got this bag and I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it's different, but this is what it looks like. Mind you, I'm in a double XL sweatshirt, so I look literally like a garbage bag. But like this is the size it is. It drew me in on the website and then I got it and I like it. I just am like, am I turning into this person? Like, am I a bag person now? I don't know. Then I got two new pairs of shoes, both Nike. I have a bunch of black tennis shoes. I have no white tennis shoes and I know white gets easy really, really easily, but I just have no white tennis shoes. So I got these guys. These are the Nike Air Max 90, I believe is what they're called. Pretty sure that's what they are. And they have like that little thing down there. They're very, very comfortable and just I think will be really cute to style with. And then I got a different colorway in them. So I got the white and black. So that's what those look like. Stocked up on some new stuff. Some new sneakers. I can't wait to start wearing them. I can't wait till I can leave the house again. <laughs> Um, and actually start wearing them because like I love getting ready and things like that Sometimes I like getting ready just for the hell of it But it's like I usually only get ready to film from like going out So I feel like I always need a purpose to get ready and to like look cute and dress cute Let's walk outside shall we? Hello darkness my old friend. This is the world outside. There are some people driving down there Got the creepy white van, mini white vans following it. It's a little weird. Luckily, it has been very like cloudy and gray outside. So it kind of makes you feel a little bit better for staying inside and doing nothing. Like, you know when it's really nice outside and sometimes you're like, oh, it's such a nice day. I need to get out and do things. Like, I don't know about where you guys live, but San Diego, which is so weird for San Diego. I know it's not vegan, but I'm having a Rice crispy Treat. I haven't had one of these in years and it's so good. I just thought I'd pop in and tell you.